from Zero FXB, let's unbox the D5 Mesh Tastic Solar Powered Kit. They're about £60 delivered, and I've got a couple of nodes here in the background. My app has been installed, um, but you could use this on Mesh Core. So let's see what's in the box. Instructions, and I, I have been looking at the instructions, and I think they're fine. Uh, and they do tell you basically to take the back off. And, and enable the mesh tastic that's been preloaded. Now I did pay a bit more because this one comes with the Helltech version 4 and the GPS module. I don't think it includes those batteries that I've purchased, the 18650 batteries. In the box you get this bar, I call it a bar, one end screw, will screw into wood or, or stone, okay? And the other end screws into very classic sort of camera type adapter isn't it or holder this antenna but of course you can you don't have to use this antenna 868 antenna it's a five watt solar panel and they've given us these grommets here that will go into these holes once you've set this up because you have to take the back off to set this up otherwise it's no different than setting up any other laura type node once you're inside it's just a a Helltech version 3 and you use Mestastic Flasher to, to load the firmware. And MeshCore have a flasher as well. You literally just connect it and go click, click, and it loads the firmware, which we just did on our on our T-Deck here. So on the front, you have the solar panel. It's quite big. It's a good six inches, five watt, it says. On the bottom here, we can remove this grommet here. And the whole idea, everything's been thought through to do with waterproofing. We can power it here. Uh, serial connection there and also there's an access hole there I notice and let's get the back off if I just show you the front that's where the antenna goes on the purchase you know that I did there's a as you can see and there is actually indentation there for another antenna and I've got a feeling that's for other because on, on the Heltec boards isn't there a Wi-Fi antenna so we can actually add a Wi-Fi antenna there if you want uh, maybe that's so we can connect to it via uh, the Wi-Fi connection because there's a much better range with a Wi-Fi connection. So that's a handy uh, way to do things. And so I'm going to take these one, two, three, four, five, six, eight screws off and have a look. This is where your mount would go. So somehow you'd be like that. Yeah, and then, I don't know, screw it to something. It uh, seems, yeah, I think I could screw that to my probably... Um, yeah, I've got a few ideas where I could, but anyway, let's just take this off. Of course, the higher the antenna is, the clearer the line of sight is to something else, to the mistastic repeater, the more chance you are going to have with some contacts. So let's get these screws off one at a time. They are quite stiff. Okay, and I notice it does have a CE marking. I saw that just here. And there you are. Look, input one, five volt, one amp, and it's uh, module Heltec version 4. You can get one with the Heltec version 3, but I, you know what, it was only like £10 less, and I just thought, oh, you're only going to buy it once. And I feel like the quality is good, and I feel like they've thought through the, the waterproofing, and to me, I feel, you know, I mean, nothing is going to be amazing at £60, but it's going to be, it's going to be okay for a while. So we'll take this off, and and we'll reveal there's no batteries in there uh, but we've thought this through and we've got some batteries in the background the 18650 batteries 3.7 volt and i think they're 3000 milliamp hours so very clear that it's marked with the minus at the bottom i've got these flat tops so let's see they should go in but otherwise if you don't use the flat tops oh look at that straight away it's getting power I'm sure you could use the normal type. I'm just making sure that the minus is at the bottom. That's the key thing. Um, so you can see it, it started to turn on straight away. What am I reading? It's upside down, of course. But you can, the GPS module is just here, already connected. And I, I bet you if I grab my phone, I could pair it. So we just put those two in for now. It's saying you can't put six in, but it won't hold six. Um, if you were to fit the, uh, the Wi-Fi antenna, yeah, I can't see an obvious connection on the board for a Wi-Fi antenna. There's one built in, but I just can't see an obvious connection for an external. But I'll look it up for the Heltec version 4 if it's got one where that is. Obviously, batteries, some sort of power board just here. So if I just... Let's turn it round the other way. And if I press the power switch... 
and through the back cover there is a softened area and you can see it actually shows the LED lights as well through. Uh, so you can press the power on off there. So I think we turned it off then and then turned it back on. And in bright daylight should charge these batteries up. Hopefully it's turned it on. So let's just do some pairing. We'll grab my phone and I've not even done this before. Uh, we need to take the back cover off because we don't have the number, do we? Without the number, we're not going to see, you know, the, the matching number. So that's the right way round there. Let's just do it. Let's just go just download the Meshtastic app on your iPhone or Android. We're going to go scan. I, mean, I did find this earlier. And uh, it's Bluetooth at the moment. All right, I'll just tap that, see if it... Uh, we've got a number on there. So yeah, 236148. So we need to do this because we need to tell it eight pair, you know, what, what frequency it's on. Now, if you use the mesh core, we could set this up as a repeater and it will actually repeat other people's. But for now, I just want to get this working with mesh tastic. So I've not, not done it before. So we're on here now. So now we need to set our region like so, and tap here, set region. So we'll just go, where is it? 868 European U Union, save. And we'll put the antenna on. It's not gonna pick much in here. I mean, I have got my, my lily go in here. I'm not sure if it will pick it up actually. Uh, see it's where it's gone red here. You you want that to be connected. You want that to be to be green basically. And I can see my app is also see the M O F X B. That is my Lily Go. Just there. So my, the app's picking that up, but we don't want to connect to that. This one's called the eight eight e four. So we're going to tap and. There you are, back connected. Let's just go through here, long, fast. If I go high, you might pick it up here. Yeah, you have a look, see that? It went do do do. <laughs> Let's tap it. Like so. See it there, it just says it here, just now. I'm there. If I go high, enter, and it get, it goes the other way, and it'll appear here. So I think that's I you know I need to I actually do want to put a repeater on here. Effectively, if we put the back back on, get this up high, and see if we start receiving anything. At the moment, because we're setting it by Bluetooth. We have to get reasonably near it to change settings. If we set it up with Wi-Fi, I reckon I'll be able to do it anywhere in the house. Um, they're also, but we could just plug in, there's a serial connection there as well. We could just plug in a laptop. Um, so let me put the back on and show you the finished product. And then in the next video, we'll talk about, um, we'll show where it's gonna be installed and, and how it's charging. So let me just put the back back on. Anyway, thanks for watching. We've got that in. And I might, I do have a, a V-Lux in my loft. I might put it in there. So uh, yeah, tinkering. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. All the best. Please hit the like, subscribe.